feel this is not quite what you intended with your question. We tell you the specific details of your dreams will puzzle themselves out when you release the need to keep them so contained and small. Allow them to expand, then everything will start coming into proper place. Your dreams are under too much compression. When they release, they will reveal much greater. Now we begin our lesson. We are very excited for we wish to talk to you about something that has already come forward with your questions, which is how magnificent each of you are. Do you understand you are each extraordinary individual emissaries of collectives. Each of you is a representative of your soul group, of your soul self. Each of you was designed by your soul to be this very special human that you are, to be the perfect person to accomplish the goals that you have set for yourself. You are never alone because your soul and your collectives are always here with you. Do you understand this or must, should we, do you wish we explain? Yeah, Can you explain? explaining would be good. Always we think we bring so simple and always we need to break down more. We apologize. Conversation is much easier without just words. So we apologize. You begin with yourself, the who you have been in this life. And you think this is all you are, yet by now you realize you are not just your three-dimensional person plodding along la di da You realize you have energy you radiate and energy connection to your soul. Your soul is a collective, as we have discussed, of all the aspects of life your soul has ever lived, both as a human and as members of other dimensions, other collectives, other frequencies. Some of you have been many humans through your life. Some has also been animals, lives as elements, lives as rocks or water lives as elementals, lives as fairies or angels or other dimensions, other beings, all of those lives you have lived come together as one collective. One collective of your soul plus every aspect of life that has existed plus you now down here in this life. While you are here in this life, your soul and all who are connected with your soul are watching over you. Oddly enough, for your way of thinking, your aspect of you that is up in your soul is watching over you. So at this very moment, while you are here in your body, there is a part of you, your spirit, that goes up your heart line. If you go to your soul, is there in your soul watching you from a higher perspective and trying to help keep you navigating your life path. 
Now your soul is a member of a collective of other souls, and you are all very good friends. You are families, soul families, soul mates, soul groups. You work together, you study together, you are each individuals, but then you can come together as one energetic coalescence. Everyone in your soul family is watching over you in this life, just as your souls are watching over everyone in life of anyone in your soul family. Sometimes you meet someone in your 3D life who is an incarnation or an aspect of someone in your soul family and you feel a strong kinship, a bond. This is sometimes by soul contract or design, and this is sometimes by happenstance. Then if it's by happenstance, later in life you think back, oh, this person was so amazing, I feel they transformed my life, yet I only ever saw them that one time, and then that was it. I don't even remember their name, or I have no idea where they are, no way to get in touch. But it was a transformative moment, like I met my family. So you have you in this life with increasing collectives that you are a part of. You have your soul family, you expand further, there's out, out, out till all human souls, all human souls are in essence individuals and part of a great network, a collective. Humans are different than other soul groups because you always maintain your individuality even at a soul level. When you merge with groups, it's purposeful merging yet you can separate again and be individual. Older souls are more comfortable. Younger souls are less skilled with this process. This means that older souls are also more comfortable learning to connect with a life and the life connecting with the soul. A younger soul feels that all they are is 3D, there's nothing else, or they believe whatever programming they have designed from themselves and do not look beyond. Does this make sense to you? Yes, I have a question. What is your question? Why are our soul families watching over us? I think that sounds like a silly question, but like, to what end are they watching us? This is a wonderful question. Very detailed. For several purposes. One, they're like your little collection of guardians watching over, trying to help keep you on your path and away from mistakes. You have free will, so you often ignore them because humans are very tenacious. You like to do what you like to do, no matter how many times they kick you in your gut instinct saying, go here, go here. Humans are like, oh, I'll go there. Then later you're like, oh, that was not wise. I even told myself I should do this. I did that. But this is part of your growth process. It is not a problem in the greater scheme of things. It's just a problem in your day-to-day -day lives. Your soul family watches over you with love and compassion. Imagine the different aspects of souls, one is more exciting, one is more tender, one is more bookish, one is more meditative. 
even though you are in a soul family, it does not mean you are clones of each other. You have balances and essences. By everyone in your family watching you, it's really more like your soul is your primary and your soul families are secondary. However, by watching you, they learn lessons as well. If you are a very meditative person, soul, very meditative soul, you are watching an adventurous life from an intellectual soul, then you will learn much that would never happen for you at this moment from your personal life experience. Soul families are on the same level of studies and connected energetically, but you are still each unique souls. Does that answer your question? Yes. Is it possible too that you are you're you're intertwined with your soul family that you can't really ever be ex exist without them? Is that another part of it? Your soul family is not with you in the three-dimensional life you have. They're with you at the soul frequency. They will always be there for you. Older souls may feel more connected to them than younger souls, for you do not need to live your life script so technically, and you have more skill and experience to open up to greater awarenesses. However, it is not uncommon for members of soul families to incarnate with each other, for you know each other well, and you can force each other to make your way through your karmic experiences. Thank you. This is our pleasure. You see, life is very complicated. It is not so simple as you thought it would be when you were a young soul and you were just living your little script. Now you realize there's layers upon layers, but what we tell you, think how extraordinary you are. Look to yourself, look to your hands, look to your mind and your heart. Think how extraordinary you as an individual life, how you are, because you are the one your soul designed for this life experience. You may have been fairly unaware of all of this. However, you can feel the truth of it. If you think back, and we know each of you will, you may realize there have been times when you felt you have not just one guardian angel, but many, where you have felt your soul has expanded or you felt great love and support. The more you are open and receptive to this experience, the more this experience may become even part of your daily life. For many of you, the only thing standing in your way is self-doubt. You think, yes, I would like this, but I don't know how. I have not been trained. Am I good enough? Am I this? Am I that? Am I what? Because we tell you, you are perfect. 
you designed yourself to be the perfect vehicle for full connection. This is something every human on your planet is capable of should they have the epiphany or the enlightenment to understand what we had explained to you of your connection to your soul on outward to all humanity. Think how much love you can spread heart to heart to all humans if you learn to connect to your soul and your soul family and then send love out that way, plus invite them to flow love through you that way. There is a technique where you connect to all humanity on a soul level. Everyone resonates with love. For believe us, your souls are all very much filled with love. It's a common common emotion it is like oxygen to human souls and then invite them to send all of their love through you through your heart out to every single heart in humanity then you invite the human hearts to open to receive this way and directly down. This is an advanced technique. There are some who are most excellent at it. However, every human has the ability to block love. There are many humans alive who block love. But those who are practicing this technique, the more who learn to do it, the more you are sending force fields of love through your planet. Tonight, if you are interested, we would like to teach you how to bring this technique to pass. So we assume you are interested because it is a juicy bit of skill, but we wish to confirm, would you like to learn this? Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. 